Hi, welcome to another video. So, I had covered how you can train your own DeepSeek R1-like model for literally free on Google Colab. And I had asked you guys if you wanted me to also show you how you can fine-tune your DeepSeek R1-like model with your own data. Well, that's what I'm going to show you today. I'll be using Lightning AI for this, as it's free with some really good credits, reliable, and it is also the easiest way that I could find. Anyway, just sign in, go to the AI Hub option here, and then you'll see some options. Just click the Fine Tune and deploy DeepSeek 8B option here, and it will open up this page. So, this is a simple interface that allows you to basically fine tune and deploy the fine tuned model as an auto scaling API. The API will automatically spin up a server when you send a request, and then it will go down when you don't, which means that you can even use it for free until your credits wear out. Anyway, now, for fine-tuning, we need some data. Here is an example structure for how your data should be arranged. You'll need to have a question, then provide a chain of thought on how it should reason, and then include a final response. There's an example medical field data set provided by them, which contains a bunch of data. So, this is great. You can actually generate your own synthetic data as well. You can just copy this format and then ask ChatGPT to generate some data for you accordingly, which you can then fine-tune and make a bit better. The higher the quality of the data you have, the higher the quality of responses you'll get. I have generated this data about myself, and I want to see if I can fine-tune it so that it knows me. So, now let's start the process. You can just hit the Deploy option here, and then you can first of all set the duration of training. It is recommended to train for about two hours, but because I have a smaller data set and I want to demo it now without taking too long, I'll just do it for five minutes. Now, we can just upload our JSON dataset file here. Once you do that, it will take a bit to load the dataset. Next, you'll also need to set up the deployment parameters for how you want it to auto-scale. Keep the minimum replica to zero and the maximum to one. Once done, you can just hit the deploy button and it will get started. Now, what you're seeing here is the deployment dashboard where you'll mainly see the graphs and details about requests, usage, and such. You have the API playground here, and you can also monitor the API uptime and everything else. In the logs, you can see what is going on. It will first download the image and model, and then it will start training, all of which will be shown here. You can see that it's now executing, which means that it's training, and you'll need to wait a bit for everything. It's actually just a series of steps configured to run in Lightning Studio. It downloads the model, then fine-tunes it using their PyTorch Lightning library, and then serves it using their LitServe service, which is like VLLM. So, there's that. It's all free using the free credits, which is cool. You can see it being trained here, and you can see the epics it goes through. If I do a bit of movie magic here, then it's trained and deployed. It will take whatever training time you requested. Anyway, now, it's deployed, and you can see that here. You can now just go to API Playground, and here you can see the OpenAI compatible API endpoint that you can configure in anything. If we test it, we can change the prompt here, and once we send it, you'll see that we get the correct response, and it now knows me, which is quite great to see. You can use it to train it on your own code base, custom data, knowledge base, or anything like that. If you have a document, you can upload it to ChatGPT, ask it to generate some data, and then train it on that. Or the same should also work with a code base, where you can train it on your style or a language that it doesn't support. This is super cool, and the best part is that it is free, which is quite amazing to see. 
I can make another video focusing solely on the code base fine tuning feature. You can also see the credits used. It's about 0.50 credits, which is great and is well under 20 credits. So, this is quite amazing to see as well. It's an auto scaling thing, which means that it can go down and up as soon as you hit the API and everything like that. Go ahead and use it as well. I think that it's super easy and great to use. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.